Hey, I'm Henry, and welcome back to the fourth video in the series at Arda, where we explore the applications of large language models into the financial advisory process and the user's interactions within the app. In the last video, we dived into how this system can be used not only to act as a financial advisor and produce an optimal portfolio, but also as an entry point into the actual app itself, allowing the user a more personalized approach for interaction and understanding their current positional holdings. What we're now going to demo is something I've been particularly excited about. It's a different way to communicate with the advisor. These are obviously very complex and, and, and nuanced conversations, especially when you're giving your, your financial uh, positions and profile. And typing it all out is quite arduous. No one really wants to do that. This is like a huge benefit of an in-person human advisor. I could just brain dump for 30 minutes and they have to listen to me. And so what we wanted to enable at Arda was a similar experience of a audio to audio streaming conversation. And again, we'll preface saying research demo, it's a little spiffy right now, uh, but you know, Im improved over the future. This is active development we're iterating on. So hopefully next week it'll be even better, but we, we can start off with, there's, there's two aspects to it, right? There's one is the advisor speaking to the user and the one is the user is able to speak to the advisor. So I'm going to unmute the advisor to start and we'll go ahead and pull off and say, um, I now make 200 K a year, but I can make a 100% bonus. I'd like to start investing more. What we'll see is the existing tax response comes back, and then once this is, is processed... You've had a change in income, now making $200K a year with a 100% bonus. That's a significant increase. How do you think this change will impact your investment goals and risk tolerance? Are you looking to invest more aggressively or maintain a similar approach? So there you can see the model's reading it out. Uh, if you want to be more hands-off, do something else. This is like a nice way to, to interact. It adds a little bit more of a, a human feel. Perhaps you don't feel like reading six paragraphs at a time. So some tidbits, like 200K dollars, but things for the future. Uh, and the second aspect of this is I don't like uh, typing it all out and making spelling mistakes on videos that are recorded and published. So what I love is now the ability to essentially have a live conversation with the advisor. And what I'm gonna demonstrate, I'll give some preface beforehand because I can't do it while I'm speaking, but the ability that this is not just transcription. On your iPhone right now, you can press a button and transcribe and like this has been a existing functionality for a while. What's different here is that we have automatic inference of when the user starts speaking, stops speaking, and it's not this start stop, it's more traditional to a phone call where it's a back and forth. And as you'll see, I can get a little rude with the model and I, I love interrupting it because this was incredibly complex to, to get to work decently. So I'll dive into it now. So I don't know if I'm looking to invest more aggressively per se, but I would like to invest in maybe lower risk products and just a higher allocation of cash. Considering your desire to invest in lower risk products and allocate a higher amount of cash, I'd like to explore some options that might interest you. Arda Finance offers a range of products that could align with your goals. Got it. Sorry, let me go ahead and interrupt you right there. I see defensive growth. I've seen that before on the app. I think it's interesting. I'd love to hear your opinion on it and why you think it might be relevant for me personally. I also saw that it has two tunable parameters, the, the risk level and the industry exposure. I'm not sure what to think of these or what to really set for them. What do you think, given my financial uh, profile?
Considering your interest in the defensive growth baseline portfolio. Hey, sorry, this was way too much text for me to read. Could you do it again and just like two sentences max? I'd be happy to help you explore the defensive growth baseline portfolio. Given your financial profile and goals, I think it's a great option for you. The portfolio offers stable returns with market-like volatility using AI managed allocation. Would you like me to explain the specific factors that contribute to its performance or discuss possible adjustments to your portfolio? Cool, so we saw a couple things there. Uh, obviously the most glaring being transcription, active work in progress, research, research, uh, captured most of it. But we also saw this dynamic adaptation of interrupts. I can have compounding sentences. I'm able to interrupt the model and we're able to have this live dynamic duo back and forth. What I personally interact with the most is I like being able to speak to it. And I don't love having to listen to a minute and a half of audio when I could just read it myself. And so what I think is really powerful is this streaming low latency chat generation in combination with a low latency transcription where I could certainly blurt out a lot of words faster than I can, than I can type them. Uh, so again, just to give a final demo. Sure, what are the specific factors to defensive growth and why would it relate to my portfolio? Be concise, please. We're in a demo, you have to be quick. Me and the AI have a disagreement on what concise means, but at least it was in depth, if nothing else. Again, correctly understanding the question, being able to apply this, understanding our products and how they relate to the user. And now this live streaming uh, audio conversation we can have directly with the system to offer a, a new way to leverage the product and what's often more efficient for a lot of users. So again, active research, but this was uh, a super cool thing to work on that a big team is really proud of to get out there and start sharing. So uh, I'm happy to do this demo and stay tuned for the next one. We'll begin to dive into different ways we can interact and how the AI functionality can expand over time and what we'll continue to be working on.